Hi, it's Trixie Mattel, and we are revealing the Sweet Treats collection at Trixie Cosmetics. Hi, it's Trixie Mattel. Welcome back to the channel, and it's a very exciting day. I mean, we have a lot of exciting days in the channel, but whenever we're revealing a new collection, it's very exciting. And when we're revealing one as cool as this one, whoo, whoo, it just, the way it's gonna hit today, the way that you are going to jump on your computer and break it, or your phone, or your television, however you're gonna watch this, we have created an exceptional offering called Sweet Treats, and it happens to be around the holidays, but whether you celebrate whatever or celebrate nothing, it's a very cool, cool collection that is very close to my heart and I can't wait to show it to you. So before I start revealing, please subscribe to the channel because we have new videos every single week. Not gonna lie though, you came on a good day because this is really cool. At the cosmetics company, we, we all love the holidays. We all love making cool things for specific times of year. Honestly, when I think of my holiday traditions or anything that I really look forward to, I think of making cookies with my grandma, with my mom. There was something really magical about holiday cookies. I don't even know if cooking a bunch of Christmas cookies in a trailer was necessarily fire safe, but we did it. I just, you know, have a history with children's ovens on this channel. And so we wanted to make something that kind of reflected that, that had a sense of humor, that was cute and wasn't necessarily shoving Santa Claus and snowflakes down your throat. So the collection has three quads, three lip oils, and some really cool brushes. Oh, by the way, we're shooting somewhere different today. It might look like my home studio, but it's actually, we're at the cosmetics office. Let me show you. Ba -bum. We just wanted to do something different today because we're usually doing the reveals in my house and it's just, you know, I think it's more fun to do it. Like we're, we're shooting the campaign for this collection right behind this wall. So it's a very exciting day. Oh, by the way, thank you, My Violet, for providing wardrobe for this collection. It made it so easy to get excited about the shoot because the pieces they provided were perfect. Thank you very much. You can shop with them right here with the dolls and let's dive into the collection. I just wanna say we do a lot of cool stuff on this channel. What I'm about to show you is probably my favorite thing we've ever made. And it almost made me cry when I saw it because it's just perfect. This is the type of thing, if I was a kid and I saw this in the store, my heart would have dropped through the linoleum at the Walmart in Marinette, Wisconsin, okay? So I'm gonna show it to you and everybody don't scream, okay? Do not scream. Some of you are watching this in the restroom or on your break at work, do not scream. It's amazing. Ba, 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 ba. It's incredible. So this is the PR box for the collection. And I just wanted to show you, I mean, look at that. Those are three of the palettes pictured in there. On the back, it says, meet the Sweet Treats Oven, a household classic packed with bite-sized beauty essentials that satisfy your sweet tooth, mama. Um, it's just kind of a, a, a gentle nod to the fact that I think no matter what you celebrate, holidays is about cooking with your family. I mean, I kind of think it is. That's the vibe in here. I'm gonna pull this and nobody can scream. <laughs> Oh, look at that. I mean, come on. Look at that. Look at that. Are you kidding? So as you can see here, we have three palettes here, and then we have three corresponding lip oils. We've never done quads before at Trixie Cosmetics, and we've never done lip oils. So these are all brand new things. It's really like unbelievable. So imagine if you bought this for a friend for holiday, all you have to do is put a bow on it and put it on the tree and then look. Oh. So I'm just gonna work left to right. I'm gonna show you all three palettes and then I'm gonna show you all three lip products. So the concept for the collection was, what if we have little round cookies that are eye quads where the colors kind of correspond with the experience of that cookie? And believe me, I think we had a lot of interior discussions about what cookies were gonna be included. I'm personally disappointed there's no Oreos, but brandy. So this is the Miss Sugar Cookie Four Pan Quad. Are you ready for this? First of all, the packaging, I mean, I just, this is a big deal. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Look at this thing, come on. Are, is this a, like, who's doing that? Who is delivering that? The artwork here was done by Derek. Derek has like a cartoon toy world background. And I mean, he was kind of built to do this. I feel like I'm a Mighty Morphin Power Ranger when I hold this in front of me. But it's so cute, right? Our concept was like opening an oven and pulling out three freshly baked eyeshadow quads. Three different cookies. This one is Miss Sugar Cookie. It's beautiful. And I have to say, Creme Fatale, who modeled in this collection, she did a beautiful job in the photo. You can see 
the shades inside, but... Oh, God! <laughs> it's so good! You guys know that we are obsessed with blue eyeshadow on this channel. I mean, every time we review a collection, if there's a blue eyeshadow, it's like the first thing we use. But look how good. In my eyes, blue eyeshadow is a neutral, but that's how I live my life. This is the first time we've done quads and it's kind of meant to be enough colors to have a very easy to do look in a box, but there's enough colors to play. And I mean, just, it's a little cookie. So I think we should swatch it, shall we? I think the public has a right to know. So we're gonna start with this upper left shade. These do not have shade names. This quad is the Miss Sugar Cookie Quad. You can call it whatever you want. It is your life. If you think that these shades need first names, comment below the names of these shades. I think that naming shades is one of the funnest parts of making makeup. So this top shade is a very smooth, buttery, like champagne ballet paint color. I mean, everybody can wear this. It can be a lid color, a tear duct color, a brow bone highlight. You could wear this as a cheek highlight. It's just a very versatile color. This is a really fun way to wear pink that's not the commitment of like, pink eyeshadow, you know what I mean? So the second shade is this really soft, lovable kind of periwinkle. Oh, it's so pretty. And the third one is closer to like a jewel tone denim. I mean, I think in Krem's look in the campaign, you can really see like the depth there. See that? It's just a lot more, you know, very beautiful. I love blue eyeshadow though. I mean, if it was up to me, we would make a blue eyeshadow every other month and we would act like it's brand new every month. And then finally, this last shade here is this really pretty kind of lunar silver kind of vibe. Very pretty. I mean, this this is for people who want to put blue eyeshadow on. Let's be honest. Even my level of delusion, I can't pretend this is a neutral palette. It's very, very pretty though. And these soft, cool blues with the pink, there's something very like princessy, princessy about it, okay? So this is the first palette and um, it's stunning. It's gorgeous. And I think we should move on. Up next, we have the second palette here. And that's what I have on today. So this one is Miss Jelly Filled Cookie. It's, it's beautiful. I mean, I have it on. I was putting makeup on today at like in the morning and it made me feel good. So if makeup can put me in a good mood, putting makeup on before noon, it's a good product. Are you ready? Ah! So cute, right? So you kind of see them all going together. They're kind of siblings, but they're all very different. All right, here we go. Ready, ready, ready? Wow! Beautiful, right? Stunning, gorgeous, I know. This is what I have on today. You can see I have the champagne on the lid and I have these two berry tones smoked up and out, easy, beautiful. These type of wine colors are like the easiest way to wear color without having to commit to something threatening or difficult. And these are the type of colors that everybody's gonna think you're a good makeup artist, even if you're not. Got you. So let's swatch these. Up at the tip top here, we have this shade. This is a real like cookie shade. I mean, it's a really soft, soft ginger. Very pretty. You can see that's what I have right on my lid and I kind of, turn my head. Really pretty, right? Neutral. I mean, I think in any little quad, you want something that's like, you can throw it on and move on with your life. And that's that kind of shade. Very pretty. People go, oh, are you somebody who has your life together? And you're gonna go, yes, I am. Thank you for asking. Up next, I mean, the majority of my look was this shade this morning. And this swatches deeper than you think it will. Ba -bum. Very beautiful, right? It's truly the color of like raspberry jelly. And it made it really easy to get ready this morning. I just... Stamped it on, buffed it out, and moved on with my life. Up next, this is sort of the deeper version of that. And this is what I have kind of in the outer and inner corners for depth. Do you see that? I just think it makes that kind of middle jelly shade more like easy to work with. If you know that if you go with that shade, you have somewhere to move. But you can honestly just use it as a liner. Or on deep skin, as a blush, why not, right? I mean, this could really be a blush palette depending on who you are. I actually have this lightest shade. I don't know if you can see right there. I took the dual fiber brush from Trixie Cosmetics and just did like a light buff for like a, I'm lazy, AKA I forgot to pack blush, okay. And then finally, we have on this really beautiful, like sparkling crystal, like poinsettia color. Very pretty, right? You can see it has like a, I'm gonna be gross and gay. It looks like a vodka cranberry. It's the color of a vodka cranberry, okay? And I know that most of you know exactly what that color is. So very easy, a little bit holiday without like jamming it down your throat, but this is a really pretty palette. And this morning when I was getting ready, I just felt so beautiful. So what about that? This is a great way to end your makeup too. And finally, on the end here, we have, honestly, maybe my favorite. Maybe my favorite, and Maya wearing it today looks so beautiful, it's unreal. This is Miss Gingerbread. It's gonna be exactly what you want it to be. Cause you know, I'm a drag queen, but I love neutrals, let's be honest. Look how beautiful. I have to say, I love the art on Miss Sugar Cookie, but you guys look at how cute she is. Isn't this amazing? It's so cute. So I'm just gonna show it to you and I'm gonna tell you the colors are exactly what you want them to be. It's so comforting and sweet and neutral and classic. Oh, right? Very fall, very autumnal, very winter, and just neutral, easy to work with. 
So let's watch them, shall we? All right, this first shade is if you sprinkled a paper bag with fairy dust. Pretty, right? It tastes like the syrup that they mixed into your coffee at Starbucks that they didn't quite mix and you drink it at the very end. All right, over here, I mean, this is just like, this is kind of like my first eyeshadow energy. This is, I wanna look beautiful, but I don't really wanna think about it. Like the color of cocoa, honestly, like hot cocoa. Pretty. And this is really pretty, especially on the look Maya's wearing. You can see how much it really makes it just kind of funky and super warm. Oh, yes. Beautiful. I mean, I'm obsessed with orange, so I'm always gonna be into a color like this, but it's like a macaroni and cheese color. Like they don't make enough shadows like this. Weird camely colors like this do not come along often enough because they're very flattering. And finally, this one is the color of a brandy old fashioned baby. Beautiful, right? Kind of like a scotch. Really, really pretty. I don't know, I'm a big fan of neutrals, but I love a neutral palette with like a little bit of a flare, and I think that this has that. So I'm happy to present these to you, Miss Gingerbread, Miss Jelly Filled Cookie, and Miss Sugar Cookie. These are available to you at $16. We have never had, we have never had a $16 palette before. And so this is a really cool thing to be able to offer. Listen, you got two friends and then there's you. I'm really proud of these. I think they're so cute. And this is the type of thing that like if a different company did it, you'd be like, that is really weird. But this is like the perfect type of product for us to make. Cause it's, it just has such a good sense of humor to it. It has good vibes. There's good energy in this palette. You can, you can taste the biscuit. It's a biscuit palette, babes. In addition to three lovely, gorgeous quads, there are three lip oils available. These are a brand new product for us. They're so beautiful and I can't wait to show you. These are really good, okay? I need everybody to stay calm. So these are our lip oils. The packaging is very, very cool. So I know that we're a makeup company, but we also, listen, there's six days of the week. We are not necessarily in full drag. And so this product is like half cosmetics, but half kind of like a, little spa skincare moment. And the packaging is incredible. I'm telling you, we do some cool stuff. This is really cool. So look at this. <laughs> it's a little candy. Isn't it amazing? So this is a really unique product. This is made with cloudberry oil, which is very rich in vitamin C, very nourishing. And each of these Sweet Treats lip oils have a different flavor and a different scent. And they are flavored with stevia, which means when you wear them, you taste like you are having dessert. It's unbelievable. And you know, it's not real sugar, so it's not gonna rot your teeth. Let's say you are a bald country bumpkin who spent a lot of money on brand new teeth and you don't wanna rent them out of your head. <sighs> Nick, smell it. Isn't that great? It smells like a real cookie. So I'm gonna swatch this for you. This is a very sheer, like this is a, a lip oil. Honestly, it's day off. It's when you have a really strong eye or it would actually be a beautiful primer to put on a little while before you do a big lip, just for like extra, extra moisture. When we were testing these formulas, I have about three or four tubes of them and I used them to death. So I'll swatch this for you, but warning, it's lip oil. You're just gonna see, oh, that looks like oil that goes on my lips. And you can't believe it. I've invented swatching. They smell really, really beautiful. This one's very, 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 very sheer and mostly clear, but the other ones have a little bit of a tint. This is a great gift for the no makeup person in your life or the person who abuses their lips so much their lips need a little bit of R&R. &R. We didn't have to snap so hard, but we did. We could have put out a little heart-shaped gloss with a Santa hat on it, but you know what? We didn't because we care. Let's look at the next lip oil here. So this is Jelly Filled Cookie. This is the one I almost put on this morning, but I wanted to wait until I got on camera with you to put it on. So while this... <laughs> Two Red Bulls? One's for me. Oh, I was like, did you get sugar free? Yeah, you want to switch? But it's sweet treats. Nick. Wow. Nick. Nick. Nick got sugar free Red Bull during the sweet treats. We're gonna talk about this. So this is Jelly Filled Cookie. I wanted to wait to put this one on with you because this is a product that's kind of meant to be very rejuvenating to the lips, very comfortable. So cute, I know, unbelievable. I mean, a lip oil that looks like little candy. Oh my God. Our minds are so powerful. This is so specific. I think next year we should do like, smell this one, it smells like turkey dinner with gravy. Like we could get this one's sweet mashed corn with a Miller Lite. I don't know, we don't. Sorry. No, I'll get it. I love that everyone in here pretended to get it, but you knew you weren't getting up. 
Thank you everyone for that. This is my personal favorite gum. You guys, it doesn't just smell sweet. It doesn't just smell like a cookie. It smells like a cookie that someone filled with jelly, like raspberry jelly. And because there's stevie in it, you guys, it doesn't just smell sweet. It really smells like I've cracked open a jar of jelly. So again, you can wear this alone. This one has a little bit of a tint. I'm gonna show you now. Beautiful, flattering, wearable, stunning. I mean, this with a little bit of lip liner, like come on. Watching your children open their gifts. What do kids get now for Christmas, iPads? Oh, well last year on the channel, we looked at the top toys of the season and it was, do you remember that pooping thing? I, yeah. I hated that. Okay, we, we're not going back down last year. There was a reason why we didn't do that video this year because I don't care what kids want anymore, okay? Christmas is for adults and drag queens. It smells so beautiful. So I'm gonna put it on so we can all experience it. Oh my God, my quad has a mirror. <laughs> By the way, I have Eden lipstick on and this is over Eden, which is kind of a, you know, neutrally. By the way, I've been told in the comments on this channel many times that I shouldn't wear gloss. And I kind of agree because my lips are drawn on so big. But you as a human person, you will look great in this. But look how pretty it is. I guess this is mine now. I'm taking this home. My favorite thing is when someone's here and asks for something and I get to like flex and like, t like take one. But I still have to ask. So I'm like, can I take this? And people are like, okay. All right, finally we have one more lip oil here and it's just as beautiful. So this is gingerbread cookie. Again, it's cloudberry oil with stevia as a sweetener. It's really, really beautiful. Oh. Again, you can tell they don't really look like a gloss because these really aren't meant to be exactly like a lip gloss. These are a lot more nourishing. They have rosehip oil, shea butter, jojoba oil, plum seed oil, AutoZone oil, no. And to me, these have a lot more like day off vibes, which is what I really like about wearing them. All right, so that's the whole collection of cosmetic items. And yes, by the way, yours won't come with makeup all over it. Look at, it looks like I've been touching it. This entire set is available. You can get all three quads and all three lip oils and this beautiful box for $64, that is a pretty good deal. You save $20 because if you bought all these items individually, they'd be $20 more expensive and you wouldn't even get the box. So I gotta say, I mean, this is the coolest PR box we've ever had. Who else is sending you an oven with ovens in the oven? That's amazing. And look at the little spatula. So cool, right? So just to recap, each of these quads is $16 and each of these lip oils is $12. You can get the entire PR kit for $64. I think that sounds like a holiday miracle. So in addition to three eye quads and three lip oils and a fabulous PR box option, we have some brand new brushes. All right, so the Sweet Treats brush offering is very, very cool. It comes in this stunning Sweet Treats candy bag. Fina Barbatol walked in here and was like, oh my God, that bag. I have to say, not to tattle, but I worked in cosmetics retail for a long time. Sometimes the brush offerings at Holiday are not exactly on par with the normal brushes, but I'm here to tell you that these are not only very special and that they come with a cool bag and they have a very special handle, but the brush quality, the density, the fiber is on par with the same very high standards we have for our other brushes. So you're welcome. And it comes with six brushes. Now, if you're a fan of our brushes, these are brush styles, shapes, et cetera, that we have never done before and don't currently have plans to do again. So if you're collecting, these are all brand new offerings, or if you've never had our brushes before, this is gonna be a great way to introduce yourself to the high standard of brush quality. I'm a brush nerd, I love brushes, and I would never, ever introduce a brush I wasn't excited about. And all of these are exciting shapes to me. So we have a very full density round kind of face powder brush. Everybody needs that. I mean, your dad on the local news needs a brush like this to put powder on top of his bald head. This is just very user friendly. We have a short little buff dome brush. This is what I used today to put on liquid foundation. I took like my body makeup and was just buffing all the way down my neck. This is a really nice way to tackle liquid foundation and get a really nice density. All right, we have a couple eye brushes here. We have a nice little lid brush, soft little crease brush. I mean, this type of very universal. I mean, if you're if you're on a desert island and for some reason you have one brush, this is a great eye brush shape because it's dense enough to pack product on, but loose enough to buff product out. Then we have a nice, nice full crease brush. I mean, this is obviously an crease brush. I think this would also be a beautiful like concealer brush, but I like fluffy brushes for concealer. That's just me. We have this really cool tight little, almost like a lash line brush. I mean, you could do like detail crease work. I would use this to go like really tight to the lash on the bottom, or in my case, the lash. This type of brush, when you don't have it too, you're like, I wish I had a smaller brush. Well, now you have it. And finally, I think this one's really cool. This one has a very bizarre sort of like the foot of a fawn. 
Very soft, very pliable, great for something like highlighter on the cheeks. Like, I'm just gonna demonstrate. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the champagne shadow from Jelly Full Cookie and watch this. See? Oh. And now I'm having a great holiday. It wasn't so great before. Cause I don't know, I have skin texture and so I like a brush like this for control. Like if I'm gonna introduce shimmer to my face, I wanna know exactly where it's going. And I love a tool like this. So you get this fabulous bag, you get six brand new brushes that have these really cool, never been done before acrylic handles. If you were buying all these individually, these would cost over $60, but for holiday, we have all six of these in this bag for only 35 bucks, which is pretty amazing. Okay, so just to recap, we have all three eye quads at $16. We have all three lip oils at $12. And we have the brush set with the bag at $35. That means you can get the entire collection, including the PR box, for under $100. Okay, it's $99. Oh my God, it's $99 exactly. Oh my God, the price is, my mind's so powerful. We plan that. We also have one more really cool thing. A couple years ago when our company first started, we did something very cute. We did this really cute holiday crew neck sweater and they sold like, so this here, we have kind of the cousin to that, but it's the sweet treats version. So it's more of a lavender. And if you look closer, the art has more like sweet treats centric stuff in it. There's like a tiny little spatula. There's like tiny little cookies in it. It looks just like this. And it's beautiful. I wear my Trixie Cosmetics holiday sweater from two years ago every year and people love it. So I'm very excited to wear the sweet treats one because it's, I'm going to be honest, it's super gay. It's really gay. I would say that it's like, it's just really gay. Okay. And it's limited edition because you know what? Holidays come once a year and at Trixie Cosmetics, we like to make it really special. So special. So you can shop this brand new collection this Thursday on Thanksgiving. So imagine your mom and dad are fighting in the kitchen over the turkey. Your annoying cousin is watching football. And what are you doing? You're shopping and you're shopping for a very cool collection. I'm so proud of this. Only our company could have come up with some of these weird ideas and put them into action. And we came up with something that is really beautiful, cute, cohesive and really affordable and we're all very proud of it. So thank you for shopping with us this Thursday on Thanksgiving. And stay tuned this week to hear about our Black Friday deals that will go live at the same time because we're gonna have good site-wide deals on stuff that we've never discounted before. Thank you for joining me today. I love this collection and you're gonna love it too. So we have to end the video because I need to go shoot the campaign images. So let's go touch up and do that. Goodbye. Should we go? Let's go. I know it looks like they're standing around but they're working. They're working oh, very yes. hard. <laughs>